This is the Salmon River of Central Idaho, the river of no return. This is the uh, lower part of the Salmon River. So at this point, the rivers flowed all the way from the Sawtooth Mountains of Central Idaho, several thousand feet higher than we are now, uh, over towards Chalice, up towards the town of Salmon, back to the west across the central part of the state uh, through the Frank Church Wilderness. And now it's on its way to the Snake River, maybe about 20 miles or so downstream. This gorge here in the canyon has really amazing rocks that record an interesting event in the history of Western North America. Uh, about 230 million years ago, a subduction zone on the west coast, so a place where one plate was sliding beneath North America, brought in little chunks of islands that slammed into North America. And as those islands were plastered onto the edge of North America, uh, they became deformed, they were heated up and changed by metamorphism to form the rocks that we see around us here, some of which have kind of a, a greenish hue on them. So you can kind of see that in the walls of the rocks uh, immediately over here. Cameraman, there you go. Very nice. Uh, so these are a combination of volcanic sedimentary rocks uh, that formed around volcanic islands out in the ocean uh, and their sediments and volcanic debris all that stuff being brought against the edge of Western North America, plastered onto it and smeared. So these are what we call accreted terrains, these little chunks of land that were out in the ocean that came and slammed into the edge of our continent. This is how continents grow. Uh, one way that they grow is uh, at a subduction zone as material comes in, it gets plastered onto the continent and adds more land mass to it. So really spectacular zone here that the Salmon River is cutting through these rocks, giving us a fantastic window into one of the fundamental processes of continental growth, and that is this thing called accretion.